So that's Wayfaring Stranger, or sometimes you'll see it as I Am a Poor Wayfaring Stranger. One of the most beautiful, beautiful tunes I've heard. And what's neat in Dadgad is that that particular kind of tune is ideal for Dadgad tuning, mostly because when you start playing these little bluesy licks where you're stretching strings, you feel like you've got more room to move on the string because these two strings are tuned down a whole step, as is this one. So when you do a, a stretch, you, it feels like it's butter under your fingers instead of feeling like it's fighting you. Even with medium gauge strings, you can do this and, uh, and not have to fight it. And when I discovered that I could play all my favorite blues tunes and, and uh, the country blues like that one and the shape note things with Dadgat, it was just, for me, it was opening up a whole new world because now I could do the licks I did when I played rock and roll guitar but on acoustic, and, uh, and, and it doesn't hurt. <laughs> so um, let's talk about how that tune was laid out. Basically, the melody is very simple. It's just... basically the melody and what I'm doing is adding in a little bit of that alternating thumb
but throwing in some, um, I guess you call them ornaments, instead of just straight, I usually hammer that on. And here I've added in other strings. So I'm alternating not only between the melody note and the bass, but between the other two open strings in the bass, and using those kind of like a drone. And then I do a thing where I play the melody plus the open first string. And that kind of is a nod to the shape note harmonies because they use a lot of open fifths and fourths and it's very modal. So. So that part of the melody is using this open string with the third string. And then when you do the rest of the melody, I come down to the second string. So I'll play that in context. Little fill note. Now here we're going to our G chord. But all we're needing now is, since the melody is on the open G string, all I need is a bass note. Again, trying to get that sort of modal flavor. And this form of A is kind of nice in dad gag because it, it eliminates any third or seventh. It's just A, E, A, A, E. Another really open modal kind of sound. Now there's a little lick that I like to throw in. Playing a minor style blues in Dadgad is simplified by the fact that all the notes you need are on the third fret. Except for the third string, it's on the first fret, and then third fret, third fret. And you can even do octaves. 